for it. What's going on, JW Faction? My name is Josh Williamson. It is Tier List Thursday. And for this Tier List, I'm going to be ranking different cuts, styles of French fries. And also, first of all, uh, I'm keeping my voice down a little bit because there's other people sleeping in here. That's the reason why I'm not as loud. Uh, but anyways, uh, these are different different cuts of French fries. These, these are not fast food fries. These are not different fast food fries, okay? They're different cuts of fries. You know, like, like from the original... Uh, you know, hand cut fry or the uh, shoestring fry, the curly fry, the waffle fry. You get the idea. It's that kind of fry ranking. It's not, you know, <sighs> go away. It's not one of those uh, fast food fries ranking. So, anyways, let's get started. Uh, anyways, first off, we're starting off with Belgian fries. Now, a lot of people will be confused when they see the word, the the name Belgian fries. Uh, it's just a regular, original hand-cut fry, okay? The reason why they're called Belgian fries here is because fries were originally invented in Belgium. You know, a lot, even though they're called French fries, they were originally invented in Belgium. Uh, so, Belgian fries, you know, OG fries, those are going up in A tier. You know, <clears throat> I don't think there's really much of these, uh, style, much of these styles of fries I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dislike, uh. But yeah, Belgian fries, those are the original fries. So, those are one of A tier. Sometimes, the reason why they're not an S tier is because sometimes I happen to get some that are not very crispy. Alright, but anyways, uh, up next, potato wedges. Potato wedges are one of my favorites. Those are going at S tier. I love potato wedges. You know, I have a recipe for oven baked potato wedges. Go back and check it out. It's one of my favorite recipes. Uh, and also, uh, I, I I do plan to, re to release, at some point in the future a fried potato wedge recipe, like my own, like, a uh, my recipe for one, uh, really good fries. Cheese fries, those are also going at S tier. I love cheese fries, especially when they have bacon bits on top of them. <sniffs> Chef kiss. By the way, tip, since I brought that up, anyone who's watching this, go to our, or go, go to Walmart and, uh, Go to the frozen fry section and get the uh, Arby's curly fries. They Arby's has you know their curly fries as a frozen fry that you can get from the store. Uh, coat them as instructed on the packaging, and then put them on some sort of like oven safe tray, and then sprinkle some shredded cheddar and bacon bits on top, and put it under the broiler on high until the cheese is melted. One of the best things ever. Alright, but anyways, uh, steak fries. Okay, this is one of the only very few fries that I don't like. I don't like steak fries. Those are going at D tier. Now, they're not bad, okay, just compared to the other ones. They're not bad fries, but I have never had a steak fry that was crispy. Like, even, even getting frozen fries. See, I prefer frozen fries over every other type of fry, over fast food fries, and even over homemade fries. I prefer frozen fries. Uh, every frozen steak fry I've gotten, no matter how long I've cooked it, has never been crispy. I've never had a crispy steak fry before. I, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, I don't like steak fries. Uh, creakle cut fries. Creakle cut fries are also a very good fry. Yeah, they're not usually a good option to get at fast food places because fast food places usually don't make them crispy. But whenever you get some frozen creakle cut fries, they're usually great. You know, as long as you fry them at the right temperature for a long enough time, creakle cuts are one of the best fries, in my personal opinion. Chili cheese fries, eh, I don't really like chili cheese fries. Those are going at D tier. You know, again, they're not bad fries, but... I don't like chili. I love cheese and I love fries, but I, d I don't like chili. All right. But anyways, uh, waffle fries. One of my th one of my absolute favorites. I'd say it's my second favorite. Uh, waffle fries are just great. Yeah, Chick-fil-A's, they usually... I wish they would fry theirs a little bit longer. You know, if they were crispier, I, I would like them a lot more. But getting frozen waffle fries, especially the Orion ones, oh, I love those. You know, fry them as instructed on the packaging, you know, until, until they're crispy enough for your liking. They are one of my favorite fries. I love waffle fries. All right. But anyway, sweet potato fries. Eh. You know, I love sweet potatoes, but sweet potato fries usually are never good to me. Like, they're, they're usually not ever crispy. 
you know, may, maybe I'm just having bad sweet potato fries, but sweet potatoes work in other areas better than for French fries. Uh, cottage fries, I don't really like cottage fries either. Uh, they're going at C tier. I mean, yeah, they're, they're not bad fries, but the thing is, when you get them from restaurants, they're usually always soggy. And also, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've never seen any cottage fries anywhere else uh, that I liked. So, and they, they were never crispy enough for me. So, they got to go at C tier. Uh, palm souffles. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But I've never had those before. So, I got to leave them off. Uh, but they look very good. You know, they're, 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 they're basically like, they're like potato chips. Uh, they're like stacked on top of each other. They're, they're not like the like the massive stacks of sliced potatoes. They're just like two potatoes stuck together and then fried. And they're 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 like a potato chip like air pocket really. They they look good. I have to try them in the future. Okay, standard cut, those are going into the same one as uh <clears throat> as the Belgian fries do. They're pretty much the same thing. Uh because like I said, those are the standard cut and and French fries are originally invented in Belgium, so yeah. Uh Whenever, whenever you fry them correctly and and, and you and you uh, get them crispy enough, they're great. But I think there's other cuts that are better. Personally, are like all right. Uh, garlic fries. Garlic fries are really good. Those are going at, up at S tier as well. I love garlic fries. Uh, I I actually made a video about uh, with about making garlic fries, and you know I I just. I just melted butter with some garlic paste and I mixed it with some dry parsley. Then I fried the fries as instructed on the on the frozen package. Again, I prefer frozen fries over every other type of fry. Uh, but what was I what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and I also after finishing the fishing frying the fries, I drained them, seasoned with salt. Then I tossed them together in, in that uh, in that garlic butter that I made, and then I shred some. A freshly grated, freshly grated Parmesan cheese on the top. Okay, it's it's got to be freshly grated, otherwise it's not going to be that good. I I get a block of Parmesan cheese, I grate it over the top. Really good fries. All right, but anyways, uh, up next is tater tots. Tater tots. I like tater tots, but sometimes I just get really tired of them. So B tier. Yes, they're they're always going to be crispy, no matter how no matter how you cook them. They're always going to be crispy. So. I like how consistent they are. I just get tired of them after a bit. All right, the potato tornado. This is okay. You know, I I feel like you know they're more so they're more so a showpiece potato than they are like a really good fry, uh. But they're good. All right, now we got British chips. Now, for those who don't know, in England and other countries, they call their fries chips. Okay, let me get a drink. They call their fries chips, and they here's here's how they are. They're slightly thinner than steak fries, but they are thicker than like you know the fries that we know, like the uh, standard cut. Uh, I like them. They're going at B tier. Uh, see, here's the thing. I I I think they're better than steak fries. Personally, steak fries are just way too thick, and they're never crispy enough. But British chips, they're usually. You know, they're slightly crispier than steak fries, but still not quite crispy enough for me to put up at S tier. And I also, I read up that, you know, I've seen a lot of Brits say that they, that they prefer their chips, which we call them fries, on the softer side. Uh, I personally don't. Uh, but anyways, I, I think French fries should be very crispy on the outside. All right, up next is shoestring fries. Now, a lot of people confuse these with uh, standard cut fries. Shoestring fries are like the thinnest types of fries you can make, and I also really like them. They're usually they're usually the crispiest out of all the fries, the shoestring fries. They're going to nest here. I love those. All right, but anyways, uh, smiley face fries. These are good. I'm putting them at, at a A tier. I like smiley face fries. They're, they're, they're usually very consistent no matter how you cook them. They're always crispy. But I feel like on the inside, they they they, they just look kind of artificial. But they're still good. They're still good fries. And lastly, we have my favorite fries of all time, curly fries. I love curly fries. S tier. Uh, 
I, here, here's how it goes. My number one favorite fry is curly. Number two, waffle. Number three, shoestring. Uh, crinkle, number four. And potato wedge is number five. I love all those fries. Those are my those are my top five favorite fries. Uh, curly fries from Arby's are absolutely amazing. What my favorite fast food fries of all time. Uh, and like I said, like I said about the tip, get, getting the frozen Arby's fries from the store and cooking them as instructed on the packaging, then topping them with shredded cheese and bacon bits, putting them under bro under the broiler until the cheese melts, and I also top them top them after that. Uh, with some freezer dried chives, great. They're absolutely fantastic. But anyways, that's been my French fry style tier list. Uh, what do you think about this? If you disagree with me in, on any of these, that's fine. It's just my personal opinion. Uh, but post some some below little opinions on this. If you like to see you thumb up, paste you thumb it down. On social media, my back will show me the description box. And be sure, be sure to click subscribe. Come remember that you don't be a faction on a jury. Ten thousand subscribers. God loves you. See you later.